New at 10 and only on two tonight, a warning for those who use sites like Facebook to find their next rental home. Houston police make a major crime ring bust involving real estate fraud. I want to thank you for joining us at 10 o'clock. I'm Keith Garvin. Good evening. I'm Daniela Guzman. The group allegedly rented the properties using a stolen identity and then leased them out. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry live in Katy tonight in that area with a story you'll see only on two. Bryce. Yeah, Daniela and Keith, many of these fraudulently leased properties are here in the Katy area. The identity theft victim told me over the phone tonight she had no idea her name and information was being used to lease 13 homes for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Tonight, four people have been charged in this scheme, but none of them are strangers to the law. This video went viral in 2022, a road rage shooting caught on camera off Houston's North Freeway. The couple seen made national headlines. A grand jury no billed Benjamin Green, while Nasali Green pled guilty to misdemeanor disorderly conduct. Just months after resolving that case, the couple is accused in a months long real estate fraud scheme involving Teresa Zuluaga and led by Harold Doyle. He's a realtor with a revoked license, according to court records who operated out of this office off the North Beltway. It's where the identity theft victim says Doyle did her taxes and where records show Houston police arrested him with a fake ID in her name and numerous fraudulent real estate applications. These are just a few of the properties they're accused of leasing in her name. In at least one case, they then listed the property on Facebook Marketplace and leased it to someone else. We don't use uh, Marketplace Facebook to put them on. We don't use Craigslist. Licensed real estate agent Troy Cothran isn't connected to the case, but warns Houston is a hot market for rental scams. At least one tenant told police the accused fraudsters collected his deposit via Zelle. We're not supposed to accept monies going into our account even for a few moments. When we do that, we have a last violation. Investigators found 62 properties being discussed in the ring's group chat titled Officina Record Show in a car they used, a clipboard full of dozens of other real estate leads. From this violent and visible act, the Greens are now accused of acts behind the scenes involving the fraudulent paperwork. Zuluaga told police she'd get 40% of each transaction on properties she'd get the keys for. The rest got split between the guys, all led by Doyle. It's time for people to realize that they can be the victim. And what they need to do is they need to stay off the of sites that are not really proven to be accurate. And tonight, the Texas Real Estate Commission confirms the accused ringleader's license has been revoked since 2021. Records show that all four of these defendants tonight are out on bond. We're live in the Katy area. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. Bryce.